Rajendra Rupal for Fruitvale Daily Log. I'm here in San Francisco, California, and uh, there's this place called Jesse Square. Apparently, Jesse Square is a private park, not a public park. And uh, there are no rules posted here on this private park, but I assume it is because it has an open entrance. By law, if you have a private park that's open to the public or any location in which you offer a public venue, you are required to post the rules. So because there's no rules posted here, uh, any citizen can assume the same things that would do on a public land. You should have the right to rally, you should have the right to freedom of speech, and you should have the right to express freedom of expression. Yet I was denied that because I was going to demonstrate and have a rally speech on simple subject of corporate governance and corporate ID theft, resulting from uh, you know personal information being thrown in the trash from consumers. That corner right there, under that shaded area, is where I went. I got the uh, information that I needed to do the public uh, speech, and my notes, etc., are in two large can gar garbage cans. It took me plus another person. Uh, about an hour to drag it over here to do the public demonstration as requested by somebody So we assumed That we could go there. So I started to do a simple setup of placing the orange tarp on the floor Where I would place everything on top of it so that at the end of it I could be done and just take the tarp away But the moment I did that I was almost accosted by the two security guards here at this location Now what's really interesting is is that before I did this I contacted the San Francisco Police Department and the San Francisco Police Department was made aware of my intent. The intent was simple as I stated to them that I'm going to be doing a peaceful public demonstration of the subject X, Y, Z as allowed by law. And so first I got transferred to some area, then I got transferred to another area, then I was told to call dispatch. And so anyhow, I contacted both the phone numbers, I made them aware of what I was doing. After that, suddenly these security guards appear and are not allowing me to make a public demonstration or peaceful demonstration. So that does violate my civil liberties because here's why. Simply put, you cannot condemn somebody to one action versus another. Like that guy is on a skateboard right there. He didn't ask anybody's permission to be in that area. These guys are playing chess. They didn't ask anybody's permission to be in this area. She's walking her child etc. These are all people who are not paying any money to use the resources of this private park. That means that because they're not paying any money to use this private park, the private park is a front to at least entertain customers, possibly for the businesses behind it. Because you have consumers conducting various non-business related tasks here, people would come in and probably give more business to this area. I would not give any business to this Jesse Square area at all moving forward. Uh, in fact, I, I would request for a boycott of Jesse Square simply for this reason that it is called segregation or discrimination based on whatever their agenda is. Because it is discriminatory to not allow somebody to have a freedom of speech and allow to demonstrate publicly in a peaceful manner just a simple subject without doing anything destructive. Yet, everybody else is allowed to do any other subject such as playing chess, walking their dogs, etc. If they wanted these specific activities only, then why not place the rules in a publicly conspicuous place at the entrance to the park, like you would normally? But because they haven't done that, it confuses people who come to the park as to the intent of the park. Is it a public park or a private park? If it's a public park, then you can't touch me. I can make a demonstration if I like to. But if it's a private park, then there is a still a problem in the city of San Francisco. Because I will have to have some lawyers advance on this, but they have to provide a right of way of passage through the property to the other street. That is part of the requirements of doing business by where they enroached on the sidewalk here. This business actually stopped...